Just Ride Snowboard channel, I'm Lars Horstman and after my uh, little episode on double positive binding setups and, and the turn technique that goes with it, I received quite a few messages, people asking about carving, so here's a very compact condensed uh, little tutorial with a few pointers that have helped me personally over the last decade or so to improve my turns and I hope they'll uh, be helpful for you as well. So let's go. The key to carving clean S-turns on a snowboard on any pitch is speed control through turn shape. The goal is to get the board high on edge before even entering the fall line. To avoid picking up too much speed, the time in the fall line then needs to be minimized by instantly steering across the hill fully perpendicular to the slope. The greater the arc leading into the fall line, the greater your speed is going to be and it is very difficult to control your turn shape and size once the board has picked up high speed without being tilted high on edge. Hence, high board angles above the fall line are crucial. Finishing your turns across the hill will help you to control your speed and allows for an early edge change so you can ride into the fall line with the new edge cleanly engaged and without sliding. Sliding into the new turn is what often leads to those large turn shapes with too much speed and little control. Every turn starts in the feet. Take conscious note of the moment in between turns when your board is flat on the snow. Feel the pressure going from heel to toe and vice versa. When starting to play with this, you can make the flat base phase longer and more conscious by simply extending the distance you travel across the slope. What gets the board high on edge in a toe turn is at first the ankles and knees, followed by the hips. For a heel turn, this is vastly different. Since our ankles and knees only flex forwards, the next useful joint above the feet is our hip joint. And that needs to get engaged in order for this mass to move down towards the snow. Try to see in this video how the shoulder that is on the inside of the turn is always trying to move away from the snow rather than down towards it. This movement is engaged by pinching the hip that is on the outside of the turn. This technique is coming from a rather open forward oriented stance with positive binding angles on both feet. I hope this was useful. The best thing you can do is go out with friends and film a whole bunch and then analyze your footage. You'll be surprised what you can all see uh, on a little video of yourself. And otherwise, keep carving, stop sliding, Subscribe to my channel, make sure you get the notifications for whatever comes next and take care. Peace.